Brunello de Montalcino is made from 100% Sangiovese. So why do they call it Brunello? Well, they used the term brun because brun means brown and the wine was dark. They added the ello because Muscadello was a common grape in Tuscany at the time. So they combined it to get Brunello and then added Montalcino to reflect the town of origin. While Brunello de Montalcino is wildly popular today, this is a relatively recent development. In fact, in the 1960s, there were only 11 commercial producers and around 65 hectares planted to vine. Fast forward to today, and now there are more than 280 bottling wineries and 3,500 hectares planted to vine, out of around 31,000 or so total hectares. Brunello de Montalcino received DOC certification in 1966, and it was the very first red wine to achieve the DOCG designation in 1980. Montalcino is located in southern Tuscany. It's generally warmer and drier than Chianti Classico. In fact, their rainfall is typically ideal for Sangiovese. In addition, the Mediterranean Sea is only about 40 kilometers away. So there's cooling breezes that help to preserve acidity and freshness in the fruit. The elevations tend to range from around 120 meters above sea level to around 500 meters above sea level. In addition to having vineyards planted at varying elevations, the soils can vary as well. And the area in which the fruit is grown in Montalcino can definitely have an impact on the resulting wines. For example, while there are always some exceptions, in general, to the north, the vineyards are planted at higher elevations in a slightly cooler area and with more galestro soils. This results in wines that tend to be a little bit lighter with higher acidity, a little bit more elegance, and which have more aromatic intensity. In contrast, in general, the south has vineyards planted at lower elevations and with more clay soils. The result is wines that tend to have a little bit more full body, slightly higher ABV in riper fruit, and with slightly less aromatic intensity. Unlike in Chianti Classico and Chianti generally, producers are not allowed to blend additional grapes into their Sangiovese. Brunello de Montalcino must be 100% Sangiovese. In addition, Brunello must mature for a substantial period of time before it's released, which helps explain part of the reason why it's a little bit more costly than some other wines. Specifically, Brunello may not be sold until five years after harvest, and it must spend two years of that time maturing in oak. Similarly, Brunello de Montalcino Reservas may not be sold until six years after harvest, and also must spend two years of that time in oak. Despite the fact that there's an oak maturation requirement, there are no specific types of oak or sizes of oak that producers are required to use. So you will find substantial variation, and this can have a big impact on the wines. For example, traditional producers tend to use large, old Slavonian oak casks that don't impart much in the way of oak influence into the wines. In contrast, there's some more modern producers that use new, smaller French oak barriques, which can impart substantial oak influence into the wines.